Hi, my name's David. I live in Cary. So David, tell me this. When you very first came in here, what was your major complaint? Oh my. my major complaint was that I, I ached so badly in my hips and legs that I couldn't stand it. I've had three or four incidents before this of varying levels of, of severity, but this was by far the worst. By far. By far. Exactly. And the longest and the most intense. All right. And what sort of things were you having trouble doing? Well, um, I, I couldn't bend over. It was hard to put on my socks. Um, almost every movement was painful. Uh, by the time I came in, it was so painful that there was no position that I could get in that was comfortable. I couldn't sleep because there was no position that, was, that wasn't a painful, and I mean really painful. So you were miserable. Yeah, I think that's a, a, a fair statement. It's certainly not an overstatement. I, I would add a few adjectives to it. <laughs> oh, wow, 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 wow. And what did we decide the diagnosis was? The, there were, the, one, of the, one or more of the discs was bulging and in, uh, touching onto the sciatic nerve, which was causing the, an excitation of that nerve. First two or three treatments, I didn't notice much change at all. Then after that, I began to notice a little bit of improvement on the day immediately after the treatment, but then the day after that, I would kind of relapse again. Then the next time I'd have a treatment a little bit better the next day and, and a little bit better than it was the time before. Uh, so there was a bit of a zigzag uh -huh. for uh, a couple weeks after that. And then I began really improving fairly quickly. And it was not it became increasingly unnecessary to take uh, pain killers uh, to, in order to be able to function. You've got a trip planned here. That's Real right. soon. That's right, a week from tomorrow. Yeah. And where are you going? I'll be going to uh, Antigua, Guatemala. I work for a, a nonprofit organization that supports schools in very remote and very poor villages in eastern Guatemala. And a month ago, the idea of going to Guatemala, uh-uh. No, I, you're right. I, you didn't even want to go to the grocery store a month ago. That's true, I didn't. But I, <laughs> All right, well, it sounds as though you would recommend spinal decompression to others. For people for whom it's the right thing, it's absolutely the right thing. Anybody who has the symptoms that I had uh, and is, needs to find relief in order to keep going uh, uh, should definitely consider this very seriously.